Help me here with the illogic of people like you that economic growth is bad. Would you please explain why 2.8 or 3.2 or 4.1 percent is bad for me? Ronald Reagan it's would not say bad for you. No, it's not bad for you. It has to come through the channel of productivity, however, because we're not growing as a, uh, po our population growth is very low. And so that's the building block number one. Building block number two is productivity. And it is true that as growth has become more balanced, as investment has picked up, over the past year and a half, productivity has improved. It's close to one and a half percent over the past four quarters. That's pretty decent. That's not going to get you to four percent, but it has gotten us to three, and that's that's very good. So it's, it matters how we get to that growth. Uh, if it's like through non-productive labor market utilization when we're at full employment, mm -hmm. then that can lead to resource misallocation, inflation. Uh, you know, it, yeah. overheating. And Julia, and I'm so glad. Go ahead. So, sorry to interrupt. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm glad you brought up productivity in that sense, because right. we talk a lot about this being a problem for a lot of developed economies, including the UK. But Neil Dutter, writing on the Bloomberg, has argued that productivity is improving it if is. you know where to look. Are we being too pessimistic about it? Well, I think we've never, like, for example, the Fed's forecasts have always presumed that we would see a rebound eventually. In fact, they were criticized for years for being too optimistic because that rebound didn't materialize. But I think with the synchronized global upturn, what we are seeing is more better investment, better trade numbers. These are the kinds of things that do lead to better productivity. Before, we were relying 100% on just U.S. consumer spending, a lot of service spending. That's low productivity growth. So we have seen a better balance uh, of late with this, with well, this global upturn, and, and, and that's good news.